Um, uh, Luis, uh, for those of you who saw the agenda, Luis was intended to be here, but unfortunately he had a last minute emergency that he was not able to make it to this call. And so um, yeah, this happened literally last night. And so I was thinking like, okay, so what, um, what could be a really good fit? And, and one of the things that I wanted out of this call was just not, not just about like gathering good people, but um, you know, there are things that we try and there are things that we implement um, as marketers that work and that don't work that, that I feel are good to share. In this case, I, uh, I wanted to do a spotlight and also share some results that I've been getting um, with Inbox Geek and with Josh, our man, Josh Valencia here, guys, most of you probably know who Josh is. Um, and uh, uh, are you there, by the way, Josh? Can you hear me? Thank you. Yeah, sir. sorry, I was reaching for that mute button and uh, failed miserably trying to get it. Thanks yeah, for, I'm here. Thanks for being here, bud. Um, sure. And by the way, if anybody ever has any questions about anything or anyone in the industry, probably one of the most connected people and um, just nicest humans you're gonna meet. And so uh, Josh though, for those of you who aren't familiar, he is with Inbox Geek. And I wanna talk about Inbox Geek. I wanna talk about what I'm doing with them, with one of my brands. I'm just gonna give you some real data, but I'm gonna show you and give you the emails that I'm using to get good results. And that is what I'm going to use for my give of the week, because again, um, I just wanna give it all. And that's what we're here to do. And um, I, I just wanna caveat with the fact that uh, these are some early results that we're getting. Our sample size is around, uh, I would, about 2000 leads so far that have gone through this system. So it data is early. And so I'm just going to be very transparent, but everything that we've seen shows that it will in fact uh, back out to being very successful with the systems that I have in place. This may not be right for you, but again, um, I want to give you as clear of a path of what I'm doing on this. So Inbox Geek, for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, Inbox Geek, their tool gives you a window into your lists activity in their inbox. So essentially, whenever a lead is going or a customer or anybody on your list goes and joins or excuse me, goes and opens up their inbox, um, Inbox Geek can fire an event which then will fire any kind of tag, any kind of trigger to send them an email. So you're giving them an, one of your emails the moment that they are most active and most likely to open any one of your messages. So this in particular is even more valuable when you have a list that is old, dead, or hasn't communicated with you in a very long time. So some of uh, my business is um, really focused on list management um, and just generating revenue from ongoing list management, both for my own brands and others. I have, as many of you also have, a tremendous amount of data that we often don't use after say 30, 60, 90 days if they don't continue engaging or after six months, however that is. And so um, why throw the baby out with the bathwater and, and not use it ever again? And this is one of those opportunities that I can leverage with um, Josh and his system. And so what I've done is uh, Dr. Jockers is a brand that I have worked with for many years and uh, have had um, success, a lot of success using master classes, using um, you know summits, many different types of uh, even docu series. This type of information based um, models to grow and 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 build you know a significant database. So in this particular case study or example, I took a list. And we targeted close to, I think, uh, 260,000 leads. And what's nice on um, uh, 
uh, inbox geek is I'm able to uh, dial up or dial down however many I want to do per day. And so my sample size started at 100 and then we volumed up to 200 and so on and so forth. Um, and so, like I said, data is early, but we are right now uh, reactivating about 20 to 21 percent of that list right now. And so what that again means is that every day I'm putting these email uh, subscribers through a sequence the second that they start or the second that they open their inbox. And so for me, I work directly with, um, you know, it's my both internal team as well as I work with Liz Graham, I'm familiar, many of you are probably familiar, and I use Entreport um, for all of this. So you don't have to use Entreport, you don't have to use Liz, um, but overall, everything that I've seen from, uh, from this has been um, very beneficial, but also it's been very rewarding um, because just activating a list that, that I haven't been able to um, even get them to open an email, let alone engage and reactivate and buy uh, has been significant for me. So Josh, is there anything before I get into showing everybody giving you the emails, is there anything you wanted to add to that real quick? Uh, not really, bro. You, you kind of covered it, man. I was going to, at the end as well, add some emails uh, additionally to what you're going to be sharing based on some, another case study we've been running with. Cool. And uh, the, the reason, I guess the, I'll, I'll mention a little bit, the reason why Inbox Feed came around is because we have our, our sister company who manages uh, over 200 different uh, email lists in the space. And so we developed the software. It generated uh, overall 20% email revenue lift for all the lists we were managing as an average. And uh, because of that became its own product. So I can share some insights as well if there's time. Otherwise, I'll just send in a, send a link to everybody here of uh, the emails that are working really well for us. Beautiful. Well, thanks, man. I Actually, Robert, how much time we got left on the 10 minutes? Uh, about five. Uh, excuse me, five and seven. Okay. Seven Perfect. minutes. Perfect. Okay. So uh, this sequence was one that I have used um, and uh, if I get this, if I burn through this real quick, then we can give up for questions. But the definition of a reactivation, maybe something that somebody is wondering out there, is if in fact the uh, uh, consumer uh, opens and or clicks any email, we obviously are bucketing them um, if they are just openers and they don't click or if they go through the full process on any of these emails then I feel comfortable activating them onto what is our engaged within 30 days. Um, but each one is, is going to give us the opportunity to um, essentially uh, uh, move them according to, to, to whatever segment that you are um, actually targeting on, on your email campaigns for that matter. So sometimes when we're doing our generalist management, we'll do full sends. Um, and sometimes we'll do targeted sends, depending on if we're sending multiple times a day and so on and so forth. But it's really just trying to find that sweet spot. Uh, and um, the more of these emails that people are able to uh, engage with, the more that comfortable you feel putting them in a more reactivated state. So for me, writing these emails, it's all about gifts and it's all about um, trying to stand out as much as you can uh, on the inbox. And so you don't have to do three free gifts, uh, but trying to reactivate any kind of community with uh, the name or even um, just tremendous value um, only makes a ton of sense for a list that may have forgotten you. So for me, it's um, just wanted to check back in and here are their gifts. And often, um, you know, my recommendation here, just to, just to get the um, reactivation instead of trying to pull them into um, another sale or anything, I literally just put um, the download links right here in the email. And so um, I don't have any particular data that says, why not just send them back onto a landing page that has the link um, that then could offer them other things. Um, but for the sake of trying to uh, get as high of deliverability as possible, 
um, and trying to inbox as many as I can. Um, you know, our, our email wizard, Matt, uh, could probably speak to the differences on those um for you more than i could but for me it just felt like let's just give them the download links right here and they're just aws download links um well, that was my 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 gut intention behind this so you have the three books and then um what our goals are around this um and then uh this is again a uh a, a, you know a three hours later um uh, just a kind of a reminder. Um, and then from here, uh, we have a, uh, a keto group. So I'm trying to give as much as I can, give as much value, give different things. Uh, if you don't have a group, this could be something as simple as, um, gosh, uh, Randall, uh, reminding people that there are so many people on your podcast and how that is growing. And then you can go and give them a direct link to there. Anything of value or anything that they can feel like they're a part of a community of inclusion. Um, I mean, Bobby with, with, with health means, obviously like reminding people there's a new nook or a new corner. Um, all of these are just like special, more VIP feeling kind of benefits. And then you just remind them accordingly and the, and the, um, and the benefits around that. Uh, two days, uh, after that, um, we decided that let's go ahead and organize our top um, uh, articles and, 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 and top resources. And in our case, this was gut related articles. Um, most popular um, is really kind of when we did a uh, um, really just kind of some, some data diving with some of our, our, our list. People wanted to know what was the most popular of the year, what most consumed, most shared. And so this uh, was, again, just giving people a list of, of in this case, was gut. Um, and so that's it. That's the whole sequence. Um, at this point right now, as we are um, approaching this, a uh, approaching this really from a, um, a marketing standpoint and really an optimization standpoint, um, it's tweaking um, really subject lines, um, body copy uh, is as the clicks kind of increase, um, we, we can kind of see where our pain points are with what is and what isn't being responded to. And even if we have three different gifts, if you have multiple books, obviously, Bobby, you have more books than, you know, than the internet has. And so with all that, <laughs> you, can, you can kind of swap out certain things that are getting clicked out most or not clicked out most. And so, um, yes, this is essentially, uh, from, from what I'm looking at a, from an earning per, uh, lead standpoint, being able to reactivate these leads ba and also based on Josh and his cost for his system. Um, you know, this just has, uh, been a, from, initial data standpoint, a huge home run for us um, and will work out very well in the back end. So that is my give of the week. What question? Right, you, got about, you got a minute, about a minute left. Okay, fantastic. So Josh is here. I'm here. What questions do, uh, does anybody have? Anybody have any questions? No? It was that easy. Good. All right. All right, cool. Um, fantastic. Well, Josh, man, um, or anybody here, if anybody wants to connect out with Josh, I highly recommend that. And um, then again, it's inbox geek. And so what I'll do is I'll drop this um, into uh, into the chat. And this sequence also can be used in, in uh, various other um, reactivation and using this kind of formula has worked out well for us too in the past. So do I got uh, 30 seconds to share real quick something yes. or yes, please Let's see if it'll let me do this real quick. Okay. Uh, just adding on to what Brett was talking about. So um, inbox geek where we primarily focus on reactivating inactives. Um, so I wanted to share this doc with you, which I'll, I'll plug into uh, the, uh, the chat as well, but We've got three emails here that we've tested thoroughly. So um, because we've we've managed so much email data with the sister company, um, we've been able to identify these are the top three emails that we use to uh, reactivate and then monetize the emails leads we uh, we gathered that were previously inactive, 
reactivating them. Um, just for some specifics, so we've used these emails. This was specifically with a, guy, uh, a client who was a ClickBank vendor. We reactivated just under 6,000 inactive subscribers. And with that, in uh, a month and a half of data, those turned into nearly $11,000 in revenue. So folks who were uh, who were, had purchased in the last one to six years and had stopped uh, essentially uh, any kind of engagement with the list, we are now using uh, Inbox Seek to reactivate those, resulting in 11 grand in revenue. The creatives that I have here have been tested tons. So we started with over 30 different ones, ran over 100 split tests with from names, subject lines, content. And then those were all tested across 4 million subscribers and dozens of different lists, primarily in the health space uh, is what we've been managing. But I'll share this with you so you can take a look at these three different examples. Uh, they're ranked by priority as far as uh, performance. So this top one here has been the, the best performer with a nice little sad baby gif you can't uh, can't resist a sad baby gif so uh i'll share these as well as, as an additional gift what brett's talking about i love it man hey thank you for that and yep. yeah so please leverage his don't worry about mine i really i feel like if he's at all that data definitely go ahead and use those um but man hey thank you and 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 thank you for the work that we get to do with you man appreciate it very much yeah